honorees this evening is Shirley Spork, who's looking very glamorous, I must say. Hey, thank you, thank you. I made a quick change from the 18th green. I run in the locker room and get ready for this nice celebration this evening. And I feel very honored to be part of the celebration with Mary and Betty and uh, all the support that they're getting for the, the junior, or for the uh, college girls from three, three universities is very special. And being from the state of Michigan and being from Eastern Michigan has always been special to me. And through my education, I was able to do a lot in the teaching and coaching of golf. And along with it, got to play a little bit of the tour and um, had fun out there. But uh, in the early days, there wasn't much money and there weren't a lot of tournaments. So I thought I should use my teaching credential and uh, I became involved with the Golf Foundation and the Education Division of the LPGA. I'm a founder of the Teaching Division also, and it, it's been very rewarding for me and to, to see how many people I've helped give pleasure to in, in the game of golf. up in, in Michigan and really all the support that I had even though I grew up at a time where there were very limited competitive opportunities for me as a player um, I just wanted to play and uh, fortunately there were enough opportunities out there and some very very influential people that helped me along and, and gave me some opportunities that allowed me to keep golf as a career
is Jack Berry at the Indianwood Golf and Country Club for the Michigan Golfer on Television, and I am with Joan Garrity, a new member of the Michigan Golf Hall of Fame. Congratulations. Oh, Joan. thank you, Jack. I am so thrilled. I, I can hardly, hardly tell you. <laughs> now, where did you go to high school? Carroll High School, up in the Thumb. And did they have a, a golf team there? Um, well, it was right about Title IX time, so my first two years in high school was before Title IX. My last two years, I played on the boys' team. And uh, were you the number one player? Uh, there, No, there were a few of us. There were maybe three of us that sort of were there. So how did you work your way to Michigan State then? What, what was the situation in women's uh, uh, collegiate golf at the time? Well, it was, it was prior to scholarships, um, so I was looking for a place that um, uh, had a team, that, that traveled, that had a good team. Um, I had met Mary Fossum, the coach, and liked her, and so it was just a perfect setup for me. What do you think of uh, the way women's golf is, uh, in college especially, has gone today? Oh, isn't it great? It's, it's just fabulous. I've been watching the Michigan State team, of course, yes. and watching their success and what Stacey Slobodnik Stoll has done with that program, and it's just awesome. The quality of golf is fabulous. beautiful country club of Jackson with Elaine Crosby, who's, I believe, the founder of the Wendy's Charity Golf Classic. Is that right? Well, I'm one of the founders, yeah. It was uh, the Stantons who started it with uh, Laura and Dave Stanton and, and myself. We all got it going, and then, you know, it's evolved into a lot of other people involved. That's for sure. We got well over 100 volunteers with this event. Well, it's so exciting to see so many great golfers play with here at the Pro-Am today with people from the community and people were just having a blast. Hoke, and I'm very proud to be part of the Michigan Women's Golf Association as they celebrate their 30th anniversary. I started playing golf back in 1990 and had some wonderful experiences as Michigan Amateur Champion a couple years and just a lot of, lot of fond memories with the Michigan Women's Golf Association. <music>
today we have with us Christine Meyer. Christine. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Christine is a two-time winner of the Michigan State Amateur Championship and she's also playing on the Symmetra Tour. Christine, tell us a little bit about how you got into golf. Um, I got into golf. My dad was a big golfer. He loved it. I uh, thought it would be a really cool way to get our family involved. And um, I ended up having a sister that also played, my older sister. And um, when we were younger, it was honestly just a cool way to beat up on my older sister. I just wanted to beat her really bad. So that kind of got me interested. And then we started playing tournaments, and I just kind of fell in love with it. Now, you are a former collegiate golfer. You played at Michigan State. Were you there for all four years? Tell us a little bit about your experience there. All four years, I was there from 2010 through 2014. Uh, we won three Big Ten championships. We came in tenth at, or ninth, I'm sorry, at nationals my junior year. So we had a really, really good team, and it's been one of the best experiences. I mean, I really couldn't imagine playing golf now had I not gone through all those experiences at Michigan State. Hi, I'm Susan Barely. I'm here with Michigan Golfer, and I'm here with Allison Gear. Allison was last year's winner of the Michigan State Amateur Championship. Allison, welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. Now, you are probably one of the younger winners. You are all of 17, I understand? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yep. Hi. And you have been playing golf for a long time. Tell me a little bit about your golf history. I, I have. I started playing when I was about three years old. Um, my dad would take my two sisters and I out, and we just loved kind of doing it as a family. We'd, we, we would bring duck food in the golf carts, and when we got bored, I mean, I was three years old, so we'd feed the ducks. And so he just made it super fun for us, and I think that's one of the reasons why I really love it now is because from a young age, I really developed a love and a passion for just just having fun out there. Um, and then we moved um, to Brighton and I started playing at Oak Point Country Club and that's when I started realizing I wanted to take lessons and I got involved with their junior program there and it was so, so great to um, to really start out that way and, and develop um, a competitive spirit and start playing with other kids and that um, transferred into uh, starting to play uh, locally at our, at our state through the GAM and through the Meyer Junior Tour and from there I really loved the experience of it, loved playing with, with people um, that I met and um, one of my early friends that I made, Andrew Walker, um, I met him when I was about 12, he is going to stay now with me so it's really cool to, to see how we kind of all grew up together. 